G'day and welcome back to OS First Timer. In this episode, Dinah is going to be building her own Linux distribution based on OpenSUSE using SUSE Studio, as suggested by Cool Koala Gaming. Be sure to go check out his channel as well as all the other Patreons that help support our channel. Anyway, will Dinah be able to build a custom Linux distro or will the whole process fall apart? Keep watching to find out. Okay, so here you are now, ready to create your own Linux distribution. It's not, you're just building one. I hope one. it's not coding. No, no, it's not. You're just building one based on the latest version of open source. <laughs> if you can say it right, right, open source. It's really hard. I had to look at the pronunciation. I pronounce it Seuss. That's I what know. I would say, Seuss, but I looked at the pronunciation video, and it's such a funny video. It's got all these things. It's got a person learning to learn German or something, then a man naming his just newborn baby Susa and it's, 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 it pronounces with all, it's a funny video. Uh, anyway, um, that's how you pronounce it, Susa, or just look at the pronunciation video. I'll put it in the description if you don't believe me. Anyway, so you want to try and make your own Build your own Linux distro based on the latest release of OpenSUSE Open Leak 42.1, okay? Mm -hmm. So you've got four different options here for how you want to start. And they said it make this the Diana perfect operating system, if you remember that reference to when you create... Looks like more options than that. It looks like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, so eight options. You're not going to worry about doing it based on enterprise and stuff. You're just doing the first four options here based oh, on the lease. Oh, those options yeah. are so, running across. So you've got just okay. enough OS, tiny minimalistic appliances, server, a text only base. Oh, that, that one's that one. out altogether. <laughs> um, you've got the GNOME desktop or the KDE 4 desktop. Okay. Well, you know what? Normally I would go minimalistic, yeah. but this time I won't. That's out yeah. straight away. So what do you think? GNOME, which is a desktop environment, the GNOME desktop environment, or would you like the KDE 4 desktop? I've heard of this one be before, but let's try something different. Let's do that. The Diana Perfect Operating System you made on Arch was based on KDE 4 as well. Oh, was it? <laughs> yes. I didn't... Oh, isn't that funny? I didn't remember that. I just... It sounded better than GNOME. <laughs> Do you want to scroll down and find where you see, go to Whenever I see gnome, I think of gnomes in the garden and there's one little footprint of it. So anyway. <laughs> footprint behind. Let's okay, just anyway, go. so you, you've chosen that. You've got to try and find a next or something. I think you scroll down. 64-bit. Um, um, what do you want to call it? I'm going to name it... Well, what's wrong with that? No, 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 just call it. Like, That's okay. Imagine That's you're pretty explanatory. Um, no, ima imagine you're making your own Linux distro. What would you call your distro? Like, it would. Okay. Like, for example, you know some distros are called Ubuntu, Linux Mint, um, Attack All the um, Ants OS. Like, what would you call yours? Just Dinah's Distro. P.S. I made that last one up. Okay, Dinah's Distro. <laughs> um, won't it have a capital for D? Distro? Yes, Dinah's Distro. Nice, okay. simple, to the point. Create. <laughs> okay. And it said it could be changed change later so if okay. I if I decide it's while now I'm creating, creating it yeah, it's now creating a new appliance but if I decide later of a more appropriate name I can apply it later okay fantastic creating your new appliance makes me feel like I'm going to create a toaster or something. <laughs> now imagine if there was a website where you get to create your own appliances from scratch you get to deck out your own <laughs> fridge and then print them out on a 3d printer <laughs> okay <laughs> welcome to SUSE studio configure your appliance using the tabs above um, so you've got your name so you want to click on software next. like I meant this tab but okay you've got there anyway um, um, so uh, software, so those are the software sources. Are you happy with those or would you like to add some more repositories? <laughs> What's so funny? <laughs> Don't worry. Um, that's enough. Why that's... is that funny? I, I no, want to no, know no, why no, is that... Are you happy with those or would you like to add your own repositories? Why is that funny? That's okay. Repositories are like sources where software can be downloaded. Well, I'm glad you explained that. Now... What's your version of repositories? <laughs> no, it's pronounced a bit differently. But anyway, um, this will do, because I think there's quite a lot of stuff there. No, so I think it's got everything in it. Just drive and stuff just so, so video can appear on the screen. No, yeah. so, look no. down. Are there any other, like, um, th 
things you'd like, like office oh, applications. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I see what you mean. Yes, I'll grab that. And I'll put it there. <laughs> There's 737 office applications you can choose from. Oh, why do they have to make things so difficult? Okay. So what do you want? Do you want it to have Libra Office, like the whole pack of all the Libra Office stuff, like writer cap, or do you just want some? Do you just want writer? Oh, no, 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 just that one. So all of the Libra Office All of the Libra Office, which means that I don't need any of the rest because it's already got it in. Yeah. That will do. <laughs> yep. Now, next. Back to all groups. Okay, great. Okay. So, so does office, office appear office. there? Let me just see. Libra Office yes, appeared perfect. there. perfect. There's 15 different desktops just to select choose from. from. But does, isn't there No, like groups of, like click on it to see, the, like these are applications from members. So let's just see what we've got. So those are the things. Well, the top one's very, very popular. Allows you to connect via, oh, like remote desktop, if you want to do a remote desktop between someone, see? At the bottom, KDR allows you to connect to Visa. No, so I like remote. to stay private and not let hackers get into my stuff. <laughs> so that's not that one. Oh, those are all remote desktop things. That's well, they what those all do are it really, anyway. yeah, type in. Well, I don't need any of them. Okay, then. well, we can go back to all groups. Ban. Ban them. No, no, don't click that. Because that... Unclick that, please. Why? Oh, no, you... <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> Why? You were not supposed to click that. Oh, my gosh. You just literally... I banned it because I don't want it. Okay. okay. I hope that doesn't make them bad or anything. But, okay. Go okay. back to all groups now. Will you have any development tools or not? Will you have system tools? Will you have games in it? Wait, wait, I'm still thinking. But it's already a SUS thing. No, you, there'd be extra packages in there. Don't well, worry I'll about just that. just have a look at what it's got in it. It's like a different language. You click language. on them, click on them, and they tell you what they are. A printer. So click on so it. So this one comes with a printer. This package contains the components for printer configuration. Oh, well, we do need that. We'll add that because okay. we want to have a printer be, being able to be set up. Okay. SUS help. Well, I think you're going to need some help. <laughs> um, release notes. What's just that? to tell you what's in the latest version and no, stuff. No, don't need it. Don't need it need to pin anything We're already got a printer don't need all that help that'll do okay now oh wait a sec what? i ticked them but did i apply them i'm pretty sure you just have to tick them and that adds them look sue's help there it oh, is oh it see? does okay i Good. might unban that though i don't want to send a bad signal okay um development, development. oh my gosh look at all of this oh, oh so like python you can have python in it no. and stuff like that so this wouldn't be your interest. If they just made this in all, in English, I'd be able but to understand But you click on it, it and it tells you what they are. That's just well, it should change. just say what it is instead of having to click on it. <laughs> so anyway, forget about that. System. Well, it's I guess it's already a system, isn't it? <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> It's already um, got a few of these things in it already. I don't know why it wouldn't come with Grub, because Grub is a good bootloader, but okay. Is it? Well, I'll take your word for it. I'll put the little Grub in there. Don't understand any of that <laughs> stuff, so if I don't understand it, I won't have it. Okay. That. Now. So, what about games? Do you want your distro to have any games in it? I want to see what other things. Wait a sec. Other? <laughs> well, it's got games here, doesn't it? You can click on it and see information about it. See, Gnome Games is a collection of simple but addictive games from the Gnome desktop. So you'd have the Gnome games in the KDE engineer's <laughs> desktop and steal their games. The more the merrier. Let's add it. Um, you know what comp is? Cheese. Cheese is a webcam app so you can take photos with your webcam. And it has fun effects and stuff. I may as well add some cheese. Um, comp it, click it again, sorry. Okay. Basically you can do stuff like wobbly windows and stuff. Not you know that where you drag a window and the wiggle, they wobble? I don't think that's a necessity. <laughs> we don't need, and I remember Nano from some other thing. It, it's from Arch Linux, like a text editor. Yeah. But it's text based. Yeah, none of those sound really interesting, so I won't get any of those. Let's see next. And remember, there was lots of pages you didn't look through. <laughs> oh, I did. I scrolled down to the end. No, not to the end. There was like games. hundreds of pages so, to look through. So, we've got the GNOME games. You only now we're going to get... Frozen Bubble. I oh, see. You can choose it there. Yeah. Choose you can choose it there. Wow. Nice grammar. Oh, Fro you didn't even see what Frozen Bubble is. doesn't matter. Just add all these games. As I said, the more the merrier. <laughs> can you add all? Is there a thing that says add So, all? what made you not add GNOME Sudoku? Oh. I was already high. Oh, no, no, no. Just add them all. Um, so, what? who is your o operating system for, exactly? To keep Jazzy entertained while I'm busy. <laughs> <laughs> she so certainly be entertained. <laughs> um, the good thing is, these games are all like around one megabyte each. They're not like 500 gig each. Yeah. Um, because if they were, I'd tell you to stop right now. However, um, just um, so it doesn't take too long oh, to... Oh, look how many pages there are. Is there a thing where you can just click all? No, don't get all the games. Well, look, it's going down via popularity. I've clicked... You've got all the most popular games. A few more. There we go. Got plenty of games. That'll do. 
Okay, how so... How many pages were there, by the way? Let's just say I wanted it to be a fun operating system. Yeah. How many pages were there? I don't there? know. It doesn't matter. Okay, you didn't click back properly. Okay, so, so now... Got plenty of games. Do you need graphics? Don't worry about text-based stuff. You wouldn't be interested in that. Do you need any graphical type things? So this is stuff like... Well, I want to be able GIMP, to see like it. like photo editing and Inkscape. Like these are... Um, and 3D modelling, like Blender. Like do you want... If anyone's interested in making pictures and doing 3D modelling stuff. Okay. So you want GIMP. That's what you well, use to change the Well, these are all interesting the things. So just keep uh, them all. Uh, yeah. Maybe maybe not too many things. Well, just all the popular ones anyway. Someone's probably going to make a district that includes everything. What do you want? Everything. <laughs> everything. It includes everything. Every game ever, everything, just, it's a, it's the most bloated distro. Well, look, um... You got all the most popular stuff. I got all the most popular. Oh, what about Shotwell? Because Shotwell is a good, um, photo, like, editor thing for It's not very popular. It was back in the day. Well, it's I not, remember it was more popular than that. It's not now, so it, it doesn't get in. <laughs> it doesn't get in. Okay, okay. so multimedia networking? I'm not interested in Network, networking. But multimedia? Audacity, that's great, like, audio editing well, look, and stuff. Well, look, let's just Audacity. say, based on popularity... <laughs> VLC, that those. was a good choice because they've got yeah. a and rhythm box. You've got to get yeah, rhythm box. That's all good, good choices. There we go. <laughs> now I think that you don't want to do too many because you know, like the more you click, the bigger the it is to download. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. that'll do then. But I got all the popular ones. Okay, so you got all the software you're interested in. So the yep. next step, you scroll up to the top now and see where it says configuration. You just click on that. Okay, so there's a few different things that you can customise here. So How come it says English US but not AU for us? Because who really cares about Australian English? US is the most important. Um, anyway, um, this should be universal. I, I wouldn't mind. You know what? Configure the network during the first boot. Let's make it quick and simple. Don't have to tell it what to do. Just do it during the first boot. Don't you agree? You can try that. Okay, good. I mean, I mean how would you? Pick manually configure network. Who wants the hard work? It's like who would drive a manual car as opposed to an automatic car? You know? Why do the work when it's done for you, you? But what if you don't want to have a network connection? What if you just want your child don't want internet access? You're like, I don't want my oh, child. Oh, is access this network to what? Like internet. Like oh, network like No, 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 that's okay because um yeah, I just like it. Okay. I like to have the access. Okay. Okay. Because it'd be a pain in the neck. Every time you want to go to the internet, you have to manually configure it. Okay. So, so. Um, by default, the root, uh, the password login for the main user is Tux and the password is Linux. Mm -hmm. So you, you you can remember that, can't you? You log in as Tux and, or you can change the name if you like. To me. Me. Me yep. and the password is Linux. Okay. No, the password. Can I change the password? If you change the password, um, I wouldn't change the root password. If you change it, unfortunately, everyone will be able to see it here. So just keep it as Linux. Okay. Yep. Um, anyway, there's a few more personalised startup server and stuff. So just look through these. Personalised, so what do you want your logo to be? That or that? Oh, that's cute. Yeah. And what do you want the background to be? Are there more backgrounds? In Those there? are the default ones, but you can find one off Google Images and put it there. I want to find one off okay. Google Images. I'm not happy with these. They're... Stop. So no, it no. just shows 1080p images, just so you don't have to think, oh, is this 1080p? Is this 1080p? So size, we want something that is 1080p. 1920? Yep. Oh. By 1080. Okay. Oh, wow. So these are, these are things you can use. So these are like nature backgrounds, if you're interested in nature. I am, but I wanted pretty nature, but that was there already. Oh, even prettier. Let's see. Oh, wow. It's really nice. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, wow. So you could use any of these desktop backgrounds. I like all of these. Oh, look at the little deers. Oh, my gosh. They're just so pretty, all of them. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, I love that wave. Look at the butterfly on those coloured stones. Oh, that is so beautiful. Oh, my gosh. I don't know which one to choose. I could be here all day looking at all these gorgeous things. I'm going to give you... You know what? Like... I saw... Oh, I'm just going to pick that. Okay. Oh, then you got a whole selection here. No, no, More no. ones. Just, um, so you want that? So, ah. Uh... Yeah, I think I want that. Oh, but that's oh, got a little thing wow. at the bottom. Wow. It doesn't matter. I, I still like it. That is so gorgeous. My parents used to have those, um, those daisy type things in their garden. There I it like is. that. See, why don't they have as default pretty things as opposed to just plain old things? Yeah, well, it's uploading it now. Uploading new background graphic. Yeah. Okay, there, there we it go. Is. Click. Look how much nicer that looks compared to what's there. You there you go. So there you go. That's So before it was like this. Yeah. Looking like that console and everything. But Terrible. now you click on this and it changes it to... Uh, Doesn't change it at all. No, it was just changed before. 
We shouldn't have changed out of it. Well, it looked, the preview looked good before it changed to this. Well, don't worry. It's, All right, Diamond's it's it says that. Okay, start up. You want a graphical login? Of course I want okay, a graphical login. Okay, we'll go login. to the next few things. It's, that's the option already there. Server. Yeah. Go to the next few stuff. Nah. Desktop. Automatically log in user me. How about you do that so it automatically logs you in? Yeah. What does it say root is not allowed? Oh, you can't log in as the root system because it's dangerous. Oh, okay. You can, root is really dangerous. Okay. Disk and memory. Memory has to be a multiple of four. Um, but it's already got things there. Yeah. I would give it a bit more here. Really? I would give at least two gigs of RAM, so 2,048 megabytes. Um, just, well, just give it a big everything. No, 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 because then it, it's too much of a resource hog, and then my main computer will be slow because it won't be able to oh, handle okay. it. Um, so, yeah, I'm happy with all that. Okay. Um, do you want to go on to files? What are these custom scripts? If you don't, if you don't know what it means, don't, don't worry have about it. it. <laughs> okay, files. Click it again. You didn't click it properly. Files edit here will be copied onto the appliance. Oh, okay, so if you wanted files, like documents and stuff already on it, you could have it like, for example, if you were making this appliance for a school and you wanted all the school resources oh, on here, you'd put them there, but you're not doing that. Not necessary. Okay, so version, what version of the operating system is this? Is this your first 0.0.1 or do you, do you think this is a full version that's done? It's 1.0 you've completed. No, no, just have this. Okay, so it's, a, it's an alpha, early alpha. Release. It is an early alpha okay. because then I have to test out things. Jazzy will tell me what game she likes and not likes yeah. and get rid of them. Okay, so this is a USB stick slash hard disk image. Um, do, you want any, do you want a live CD? What's that? Um, so that you can put it on a, you know, USB and do that kind of thing, and or put it on a CD and just run it oh, off a CD or USB. to other computers type things. You, well, you know how we, I used to get you Linux on a live USB, and I used to plug it into the computer and oh, you could run it off the USB that. and stuff, so you can have it so it's available like that as well. But you can always come back and change things if you wanted to. Um... I How about you just get the live CD just in case I can't work out what to do next? Um, oh, can you get the VMware one? Because that'll actually make it easy for us. Yeah. Okay, there we go. You can build it now. I thought that was going to say OS first time. <laughs> OS first machine. time a virtual machine. Already there. <laughs> okay, share. I know you don't need to share it with anyone. You just need well, to Well, I'm already it. sharing it with everybody. <laughs> you just need to build it now. <laughs> okay, build. Let's go. Build. Okay, it's starting the build. I like, I, I must admit, I like the concept of where you actually can build your own operating system based on things you want and things and leave out things you don't want. But my only problem with this, I wish you could do that with a Windows, but the problem with this is that it's just not in English. It's not no, but that's describing the thing. exactly what each thing is because you don't know what you're selecting and, you know, you could be yeah. missing out on things that are pretty, you you would think that are pretty good. I know, but the thing is, it's not really designed for the app because, I mean, the average PC user, what are they going to do? They're just going to download Ubuntu or download I know, Linux I Mint know. and go, hey, what have I got here? I don't really want that, but I would like to check out the App Store and see if there's anything else I want yeah. rather than building from scratch type thing. Anyway, you can go have a cup of coffee or something Thing because it's now downloading the packages. We'll okay. be back in a moment. Okay, so it's now downloaded to the desktop. There it is, Diana's distro. So you wanted to try and extract that now and let's get your distro out and ready to run in a virtual machine. Um, a day has passed <laughs> though. I will um, warn you with that. I just click OK. It's not that it took a day to download, but I had She to... had to rush <laughs> off to work halfway through the video, so. Where is it gone? Diana? We have a problem. <laughs> I don't know why it's not working. Oh, here we go. Diana's Distro 101.raw. What is the dot .raw? It's a raw version. Um, I don't know what you do with the dot .raw. Yeah, this is a dot .raw. I've never... <laughs> I've never come across a dot .raw file before. I actually don't know what you do with this. So I'm literally unable to help you here. What is a I've dot... got no hope. <laughs> I don't know what a dot .raw is. Well, look, it's doing something. No, it's extracting the dot .raw file, but now you've got to figure out what to do with the dot .raw file. Open it. No, no, you can't just open a dot .raw file. It's wrong. What do you use it with? Use it I on mean, a computer. No, if it was a piece of meat, what would you do with the raw? You'd cook it. You'd cook it. But what do you do with the computer? It thinks you open it in an Im image file. <laughs> like um, I think we will have to Google what to do with the raw file. <laughs> what do you do with the raw file? You cook it. Uh, anyway. Dot raw. Okay. To make a bootable USB stick from an appliance, 
What do you do with a .raw file? Why did it have to download as a raw file? To, uh, I don't know. Good. Image to ISO, no, but that's not raw. Hey guys, I downloaded a raw file for Ubuntu, but I cannot seem to burn it to a CD. I read somewhere that you have to make it to an ISO, but how do I do that? Just select burn as ISO with your CD burner. But we don't want to burn anything. Okay, well let's just completely, like, I doubt this will work. But let me just call it as a joke. I'm gonna humor that was it. My, that was my idea. I know, I'm gonna call it that. We're gonna open it with VMware and see what um, VMware does. So, new virtual machine, here we go. And I highly doubt that this will work. This will not work, I'm telling you guys. You never know. Well, I completely doubt it. We're gonna run this, but I doubt me just renaming a .raw file to an ISO will actually make this boot up. Ready? Let's see. It'll always say VMware, but then after this it should have an error. There we go, error. See? It can't do that. It doesn't know what that type of file is. Oh. It's a computer. It should know what that type of file no, it is. No, it's, it's a computer file. It's expecting an ISO file. That's not an ISO file. Well, why did they do it in that format anyway? I don't know. There, that one. How do I convert? Yeah. Okay, I got it. I saw it. <laughs> it's a raw file, renamed it to ISO. Oh, um, that was what I you tried did. to mount, but it said corrupted. Firefox said no issues. Yada, yada, yada. See if this helps. Oh, and then it's that thing we were ready for. Oh, no. Well, it doesn't help. Somebody should tell that person, well, no, it, it doesn't, doesn't help. help. So that they stop referring people to this. Let me just see if they actually have an option to not download as a raw thing and download as something else. Oh, no, but then it won't be... It'll take another two hours to download. Oh, no. See, I had additional formats and I ticked those, but I can't seem to find those formats in this that I downloaded. I will, however, check test drive. Let's just see if this, if it lets us test drive this in our browser. Because <laughs> if it does, we'll just test drive. It looks very freezy though. Well, it's a virtual computer. Uh, no, but it's also over the internet too. Okay, so this is Diana's distro starting up. I just downloaded it. You three six six hour drive image. I downloaded that. Just didn't do anything. Just while we're here, I'm just gonna try and open this in Cyberlink and just see if it does anything. And that can't open it. It doesn't know what that image type is. That is so silly to have something downloaded to something that no one knows how to open. Even the computer doesn't know how to open. That's so silly. Yeah, it just does not know. I don't know what this stupid raw file is. I wonder if I can extract the raw file. Let me type it ra. Let's be no, it doesn't know how to do it. I tried it, but it still gave me a dot raw file, and it's too big for my disk, so I need to put it on a USB. If you build with the preload ISO, it should be an ISO. I just built one myself and downloaded file as such. So I think you have to tick that. Oh, That's what it was. Me. Okay. So what we'll do is we'll come back to this after we've done another video so we'll come back to this this will download in the background while we do something else so we will see you guys soon it'll have to do all that stuff okay see you guys soon guys in the end here the solution was downloading as a live cd slash dvd okay after all that we have finally got diana's distro up there on the desktop next to icon cleanup may 8th that's the lazy way to clean up your desktop chuck them all in a folder and yeah <laughs> anyway what you want to do is you now want to um open vmware and start running it you don't double, double click it no why don't you, double <laughs> you want to get into it? vmware Oh, wait a sec. Where is it? Oh, here we go. That. HD beautiful. Yeah, that VMware. looks... VMware. Okay, so you can now set up your virtual machine. Next. Yep. You have to read this stuff. No, you've you just go next, already, next, next, apply. You've already stuffed up. So it says guest operating installation. Install from... And what are you going to install it from? And install a disk. You don't have a physical disk. Install a disk image ISO. I will install the no, operating you'll do system it now. later. <laughs> Okay, install a disk. But is it an actual physical disk or is it a disk image file? It's an image file. Okay, and where is it? It's somewhere on this computer. It's on the desktop. There we so go. So you've got to browse to it and find it. Okay. Um, so on the so I'll go to the desktop. Um, don't and that's it. There it is. Okay, next. next. Yeah. Now, what type of guest operator? Is it Microsoft Windows? Is it Linux? Is it Mac? Is it NetWare? Is it well, it's operating on a Microsoft Windows, but it's a Linux. <laughs> What's the guest operating system? It's a Linux. Yeah. Okay, so what version is it? Well, it's not Ubuntu. Um, it's a SUS one. Yeah, it's a SUS. How about you just type in um, SUS Linux 64-bit? Just put in that one. That one? Enterprise. A bit lower, a bit lower, the bottom one. SUS Linux 64 Two more down. That's it. 
Next. Okay, name what it. What would have happened if you'd selected a different one? It would have just run the different it one. It just wouldn't have been as optimised oh, for okay. what you've made. For it. Okay, yeah. got it. Okay, so you want to call it a name? But you know Go what it should be? To make this better, what it should be, it should detect which one it is and just optimise it according to that one. It should know which one it, it is. It does actually have a detection system, but it doesn't know every single operating... I mean, it doesn't know your operating system because you've just made it. Okay. Okay, anyway. Go, next. Okay, um, I generally prefer to store virtual disk as a single file rather than multiple files. So can you just tick that for me? Finish. Um, can you customise hardware? No. <laughs> yes, <laughs> just oh. give it a little bit more um, RAM. So put it up to about 2 or 4 gig, whatever you want. So otherwise it's a bit um, slow. Okay. There we go. Okay, you can power it on and we'll check out what you've made. Loading a Linux kernel. That is such a nice view, isn't it? I really like that. I wonder where in the world that is. Because you want to move there. <laughs> Not that I want to move there, I just wonder where it is. What do you think this all means? Like, tell me, what, what is probing EDD, whatever it meant? Oh, uh, it's just starting up the operating system. It's reading all the text If someone stuff. was to probe something, what do you think that means? Look into. <laughs> so it's just, it's reading all the computer mm. text stuff. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> it hurt. <laughs> oh, what's this? What? Started some sort of supplement demon. What? Oh, it's gone now. <laughs> I don't like that mouse. It's really laggy. Yeah, of course, because it's in a virtual machine and it doesn't have VMware tools installed. It's next, next, next. Well, that's what I mean about the next, whereas before you, we didn't do no, more that, than that. No, that next one was an important next. By the way, this is only done once, all this stuff, because it's the first setup. Mm -hmm. Now you get another mouse. It's like a, a new mouse every few seconds. Okay. You won't have a mouse here just because this is the boot up screen. What does that look like to you? That's really cute. It looks like a little mini lizard. And he's type in a light thing. bulb that's gr I know, filled he's with in green the... poison liquid. So I've got a home and a trash. That's your desktop folder. Let me just see that for a sec. Can you move that? Because it's just. Oh, okay, there we go. Oh, so that's like a folder you have. Oops. So that's like a folder you always have on your desktop. And mm -hmm. um, what do you think about the rest of the? What do you think of its appearance? Do you think it looks generally nice? This or um, what do you think? Very plain. Yeah, I don't know what happened to your desktop background. Where is my desktop? That's what background. I'm wondering. So this is it. Yeah. Well, I'm not very impressed. Look at all the programs you got. No, but where's you can my background? Customize it further. Put your cursor over games. I just want to see because I know you've got a lot of them. Look, oh, look at it categorizes them so it's oh, got games. Wow. Then it's got all the arcade ones you got. So they're all, all those, the arcade. All the yeah. board games, all the card games, all the games for kids, oh, all the logic shouldn't games. Shouldn't they all be for Wait, kids? Go logic games. And look, it's even got a scroll thing there because it can't fit them all in there. That is how many different apps you got. Okay. Oh my goodness. And there we go. Let's just see if it has, um, I just want to see what it generally looks like if you've got a program open. So let's say you have something, uh, um, well, let's, I'll just do chess. That's a weird look. I oh, see how it goes transparent when you, move, yeah. you can see the windows in the background. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so see, that's the kind of like, that's what the windows look like. Yeah. But I'm guessing you could probably even change that further if you go to desktop settings. You can even add widgets to the desktop. Oh, there's my picture. There it is. Okay. Apply. Apply. Now you've got yes. your picture that you wanted. There you go. So it was in there. Yeah. But why, how did, where did those other two things come from? I'm not sure. Can um, we delete them? Because I don't like them. <laughs> no, it's not really a big problem. Well, it may so be you can if even, you really don't like You it. can even add panels. So your most used applications are somewhere. Um, you can add widgets. There you go. See, so if you want a clock on your desktop, you can drag that. And I then do. you've got a clock. I want a clock. Oops, the calendar came out of the clock. Well, that's handy. Problem is, I never know how you actually move the widgets around. Is there a special button you press to move widgets? And how do you make it a bit smaller? Oh, no. This is a bit of a big clock. I personally don't like desktop folder. Do you hate that? It's just a bit annoying, that desktop. Do you find that desktop folder yes. annoying? Okay. Oh, see, you it has been removed. Undo in case you did it by yeah, accident. You can't grab it. I've just, there's got to be a way to grab it. I'm sure there is. Because I just, like, I just did it for a second. Oh, well, it comes with a stubborn co clock. You can press and hold to remove the handles. Ah, there we go. And you can probably... Oh, there oh, you go. There you can resize oh, it to the size you want, so if you want it I that big. I need to actually see it. No, what no, about that? smaller, smaller, smaller. I can... Smaller, smaller. Okay. Let me resize it to what I want. That? About that'll do. Yeah, yeah. so you can have... See how you can have something... Ah, oh, sorry. It doesn't want to be there. Do you want any other widgets? Where are the widget things? You right click the desktop and then you can click add widgets and there's activities, application launch, so your most common applications can appear in there. Let's have a look. Battery. Okay, so not that, not that. 
a calendar. There's a lot of widgets. What do you think about all that? Oh, not really that interesting. A search. I like a search one. So I want that one out. What do you do with that? Just click it and see. Oh, okay, put it where you want it. What do you actually do with that? That's such a big search thing. Well, if I have to search for something, I'll find Let's it. say you wanted to find um, LibreOffice. See if it actually works. Oh, look at that. It does. LibreOffice. Yep. See? You, you spelled it wrong, though. So it's LibreOffice. There we I go. Think. So yeah. there you go. So that, that works. Okay, so But I want it smaller. Do you know what I would actually do? If it was How me... How do you make it smaller? Wait. So what it wants you to do is it wants you to hold kind of near it. Then it's got this resizing thing. Yeah. But if it was me, I would try and put it here. Oh, that's a good idea. So then you click search and you search from there because it just looks a bit dodgy, a big question yeah, yeah, mark yeah. on the desktop. So you see what I mean? That little it's not search a question icon. mark, it's well, a, a magnifying magnifi glass. You know what I'm talking about. That's it, okay. So there you go. Is that is that pretty good? Yeah, yeah. And that's what about good. like a thing for your most recent applications? So if you want LibreOffice there, you put it there, you get it? Mm -hmm. So you can just put all the things you commonly use. Um, you didn't get an internet browser like Firefox. You oh, should have. Do you that. should have done that. You just forgot to click on one. Oh, so can we download one and just? You'd put, put your most in? common things. Yeah, you could. You have to use. How could I forget something as important as that? I know. You just kind of you're clicking. Oh, it's just so overwhelming. The all with the all the different there. options. Okay, so Sometimes you're typing. Sometimes there's just too much choice, and they don't exactly I think, say don't what it is. Quote me on this. Sudo apt get. It's only because you didn't get a browser. That's why I'm having to go through the terminal to get this. Mm -hmm. Sudo apt get. Oh, but I'm pretty sure they have a software center anyway. Firefox install Firefox sudo like command not found. What? Apt. What about just apt get? Apt get install Firefox. Apt get not. Oh, I hate these oh, command my God. things. Just. Get it from the app from the app store. I don't know if you got the app store, <laughs> so like that's something you probably should have gotten. Well, it's but just you too much choice. It's too overwhelming. They should actually have things there which people should have, and with a <laughs> with a label, you, you should, should have, have this, these. so that you end up getting them, and that you know that you should have them. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, do you think overall, apart from the fact that you couldn't um you know, get the right stuff. Do you think you did a good job? The problem with it was this. All those, first of all, number one, there was just too much choice, far too much choice. Yeah. Second of all, it was just, I didn't understand what most of the things were. Do you know what I mean? It didn't really explain what each thing so was. So do you feel there should be also on that site a really user-friendly one, like things we recommend. We recommend you grab a browser. Which browser would you like? Yes. We so a, like a basics tutorial. Yes. Check for basics, almost like a button, check for basics. You click that and then it says, okay, basically, do you want an Office application? What kind of web browser do you want and stuff yeah, like that? Yeah, that would be just, a bit just more to make helpful. Sure the just for the person that's not so in tune with all this computer jargon stuff, yeah. you know? So just, that's that's next time for someone make make sure you get a web browser because otherwise you're a bit stuck and and also I don't think we can install the commands like the apt get and the sudo and stuff mm. so we got a little bit stuck there mm. um, anyway I hope you guys enjoyed this video and um, Diana's little um, thing she quickly whipped up and yeah we will see you in the next episode bye bye.